Hey everybody, I've been asked by a couple of people what the best way is to annotate on top of a Word document. And my conclusion is inside of the Promethean software here, inside this window, there is no good way to do it. Um, uh, like For example, we'll, we'll do desktop annotation and um, when I press this you won't see anything as I'm writing. Um, but trust me, I'm writing things. I, I'm writing something here and then I'm going to highlight here. Um, and I'm sure you don't need to see it to understand the predicament that when um, you go to scroll down, your stuff just floats on top and it doesn't scroll with the document, which isn't, uh, it shouldn't be too big a surprise because all desktop annotation is, is it's like putting a big sheet of glass over everything you see on your desktop and just writing on top of that glass. And if stuff moves underneath that glass, Promethean doesn't know. It, it, it can't uh, perceive that that's what's happening and move the, the annotations with it. Um, so that's a, a limitation. You, you could take uh, this screenshot. So if we go down to tools here and, uh, and go to camera and do like say a full screen uh, snapshot and this part's important right here to make it go to a new page. So this will come up. So there's a, a picture of what I just did. Okay now you can see it. Um, uh, and, and that works nice uh, to a degree. You can paste a, a, an image in there, and, and if that serves your purposes, that works well. But if what you specifically want to do, and that's what I'm addressing, is write in a Word document, um, my recommendation would be to use Word and not the Promethean software. Um, let me show you what I mean. So now inside Word, I have pen tools that are built in, and you can circle things and highlight things in Word and when I scroll it's part of Word so Word moves those things along and you can save this as a Word document um, and have those annotations uh, carry along with it you can uh, annotate things and you know put put it on your website or email it to a student as an attachment and they'll get all your notes um, and to do that in uh, the Promethean software just doesn't work that well um, so all you need to know is how to get this little menu to be a part of your selections. So this little arrow here is where you can um, add tools. Um, you can put your spell check up there and all sorts of different things. We're going to go to more commands because what we want isn't there. Um, and we'll go to all commands rather than just popular commands. And we want to turn on the pens. So we'll just go down to the pens. And there it is. And if I click add it gives me an error because it's already over there but when you click add it'll just jump over there and uh, you can move it to if you want it to be um, further up in the hierarchy you can put it there or wherever so then you click OK and there it is you'll have the pens pop up you can select pens you'll have other more customizable things like you can get more particular colors you can adjust the thickness um, if you're picky about that kind of thing and then there you go. When you write on top of your Word document, it'll stay with it. You can save it that way. Uh, and I think it's a, a better option than the Promethean software. One limitation to this is if I want to get rid of this. The Promethean is nice because you can just erase it like you would any other you know, pencil mark in real life. But now this thing is a, it, it's a, an object in, um, in Microsoft Word. So I, it, you know, you can stretch it and, and resize it and that kind of thing. It's just like any other object. So if I want to get rid of it, I have to select it and delete it. Um, I have to select this highlight and delete it. There's, you can't erase parts of it. So that's one limitation. But I think it, that the limitations of, of uh, the annotations in Word uh, are definitely uh, far better than the limitations of the Promethean software. Uh, so. That's my recommendation. I hope that was helpful.